Hello guys, it's Father Eduardo. It's Father Dominic. From Lisbon, Portugal 2023. And we send our greetings to the old and the young in all Ireland and England with our greetings and prayerful thoughts. We are just about to start the opening mass and we will pray for you and for your intentions. Join us and enjoy this joyful event. The church is wide, the church is Catholic, the church is multinational, the church is young as you see, and the church is sunny and beautiful, and we invite you to join us together in our prayer and spiritual journey. God bless you all. Bye. Greetings. Good morning. I will begin in English now, so you can follow in the WhatsApp group. Dear young people, I have been looking forward to meet you here in this room. I thank you for your effort to come, and I thank all those who have worked to make this encounter possible. A meeting that fills me with joy. Thank you very much. In this room, we had the opportunity to walk hand in hand with Pope Francis and to listen to him. He invited us to work with Mary. He did the same at our general chapter, where after kissing this cross, the cross of St. Eugene the Masonot, he proposed to us to work together and hand in hand with Mary. How can we, like Mary, be pregnant of hope in communion? First of all, I would like to share with you my dream. I think it's the same dream of St. Eugene the Master. I dream that young people become the driving force that helps our entire charismatic family to live the gospel with joy and enthusiasm and to proclaim the gospel among the poorest. I propose, dear young people, that in the next six years, you be the protagonist of the missionary renewal of our charismatic family, and that you do it as Mary did with the community of Jesus, the Church, so that we can make presence of hope in communion. Do you want to help us in this adventure? I hope yes is the answer, no? Yes. Yeah. The big yes, no, I just like that. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> First of all, pilgrims. We are pilgrims and we send happiness to our lives. With all humanity, we seek fullness of life, justice and peace. We know that to become fully happy, we cannot stand still. We need to go out of our comfort zones. We need to risk, to grow, to work. All of humanity is on pilgrimage, and to be fully human, fully happy, we have to go in pilgrimage to build universal fraternity. When Mary heard the angel's announcement, she responds with a big test to God's plan. Luke's Gospel says that immediately and with Christ she set out on her journey. Mary did not know very well what the words of the angel meant, and she was afraid and doubt. We too, we are afraid and doubt. Mary set out to serve and along the way Along the way, things became clear. Mary teaches us that to fulfill the mission, we must leave the familiar. We must abound our comforts and go on pilgrimage in search of God's will. Mary also teaches us that in order to go on pilgrimage, we need to walk with God. She walked with the presence of Jesus in her womb. We have to do the same work with Jesus who tell us, do not be afraid, I am with you. Do not let fear and doubt impede your pilgrimage. On the way Jesus will teach us, 
with this world and strengthens us with his presence. The important thing is that we go on pilgrimage hand in hand with Jesus and Mary. How can we, oldest and young people, work together, seeking to respond to God's plan? What are the fears that prevent me from working? I will repeat these two questions because I am asking you right now to have a speech with the one who is at your right or at your left, just to say the answer to these two questions. How can we, hopeless and young people, work together seeking to respond to God's plan? And what are the fears that prevent me from working in this pilgrimage? So I give you five minutes just to say with the one as you say the answer for the two questions. What can we, how can we work together, homeless and lay people, to respond to God's plan? And what are my fears to do this pilgrimage? So take five minutes to share. Gracias, Padre Chicho. Le damos un fuerte aplauso. Hi, everyone. I'm Amy. Um, I'm here at the Oblates, um, the Anglo-Saxon group. We're here at World Youth Day. The Pope's going to be here soon. Um, yeah, we're all enjoying it. It's very hot. But uh, it's good, it's good. Um, we set up camp here. Um, yeah, we're meeting lots of people from all over the world. We met some people from Fatima, which we're going to next week. And yeah, it's a really great time. Hi guys. We're here as a pilgrimage, uh, as a part of the Oblate Youth Group, uh, the World Youth Day. And as you can see, there are people all over the world here. And we come here to see the Pope and just to be one as a community of young Catholics all over the world. Uh, you see, the faith is all lively, it's all joyful, and the church is really young. So come and join us and be part of our pilgrimage. Hi, hi everyone, hi, hi. Now we are here to meet Pope here. You see, there are so many young people coming, coming, coming all the way. You see, from different, different countries, different, different flags and different nationalities, all are here. We are in so much excitement. We are here to welcome Pope and also we are going to see all the people here. I am so much excited. Now we are here to meet all the people here. Thank you very much. I am going, I am busy, bye. Good afternoon to everyone in our province in uh, Dublin and Ireland, as well as to everyone who is spiritually journeying with us, with the Oblate family on this world, Youth Days in 2023. This is the first time we are going to see the very same Paul who was journeying with us for the whole preparation of the World Youth Days. And now it's the first time uh, Pope Francis is going to speak to us uh, from this very place in the hearts of Lisbon where uh, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people are already waiting here even though it's still a couple of hours still the Pope will speak to us. So be assured of our prayers and our friendly thoughts when we are sending your hugs and your greetings and your love to our spiritual father and for the church. God bless you all. We pray for you, especially this very moment. God bless you.